<laughs> you know, if you can't hear it, stop recording. <laughs> you know, the, the one thing, though, that I didn't tell you about tell us. is working with Jack Nietzsche. Oh, tell us about uh, that. Jack Nietzsche, uh, I met in California on, uh, like I said, that first tour out okay. in California. And Jack took us to Walt Disney World, uh, Disneyland, I'm okay. sorry. And uh, I think he liked the place himself. You know, very sophisticated, low-key guy. His wife was very nice to us and stuff. And I have pictures and stuff of us being out at the Monticello. That's up on the top of the hill off Sunset Boulevard. That's not even there anymore. But uh, Jack Nietzsche did a lot of all the string arrangements on the first record. You know, and he also worked with uh, Willie before Willie's death on one of his last things. You know, but Jack was. Uh, it was great to work with that that man because it was uh, he brought so much history with him, and you know when people like that of any you know uh, experience and where this guy's been, you're in awe. Sure. You know you're like uh, you know there's like a, a thing around him. You know what I mean? Sure. And to be a part of that was great. But I learned so much. You know, about how Jack, even his oldest stuff, because when I knew Jack Nietzsche was coming in and producing all this stuff, I right away went and got every kind of Jack Nietzsche thing that he ever did. I want to know what this man's about. Mm -hmm. So when I go in there, I know what I'm talking about and I know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, like you listen to that first, uh, that first record, it's uh, all the strings arrangements and stuff like that. 